Last month, the National Sleep Foundation released the results of their National Sleep Poll. Among other things, the poll found that 95% of people use some form of electronic within the hour that they go to bed. Whether that be a computer, cell phone, or television, the Foundation notes that they, the use of these devices before bed is harmful to the sleep onset process, as well as having many negative health effects. Carrie Crofton, PhD and author of the book Wireless Radiation Rescue, notes that there are two different types of effects that we expose ourselves to. The, the two exposures are one kind of before you go to sleep, but also while you're asleep, mm -hmm. or at least while you're trying to sleep. <laughs> Part of the reason that electronics have a an effect on our ability to sleep is because they emit microwave radiation, which suppresses the release of melatonin, a sleep-inducing hormone. This hormone decreases naturally in humans with age, but Crofton says that the use of electronics causes it to decrease earlier in life. Now, if you check the stats with uh, sleep uh, disruption, sleep impairment, sleep deprived, it isn't just new moms or new parents, it's now people of all ages. When asked what people could be doing to limit the effects, Crofton replies with a simple answer. That anything that's wireless look to a wired alternative. Crofton says that this alternative could include using an Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi, getting a landline instead of using a mobile device, and turning off or shutting down all wireless devices at night, such as routers or modems, as you would any other light source in the bedroom. The effects of doing this increase exponentially, she says, and the outcome is worth it. These effects accumulate. Mm -hmm. Uh, conversely, on the good news side, the benefits accumulate. Chesley Ryder, Camosun Television News.